G'day. Uh, hi, just here to talk about a uh, replacing a temperature sensor on a 1997 Golf Mark III 2.0 litre. Uh, Five-speed manual. Probably doesn't matter if it's a manual or auto, I'd say it's all the same. But, um, yeah, anyway. So the problem I was having was cold starts in the morning and also the temperature gauge started to show the car being very hot even when the car was cold. Um, so that uh, made me realise that we had a problem with the temperature sensor most likely um, so I decided to replace it. So here's the old sensor. You'll notice four pins and a yellow ring around um, and a metal clip that retained it. We've re we replaced it. The, the temperature sensor goes here and it's retained now by a plastic clip rather than the, the metal original clip. But to replace it, make sure the car is cold, otherwise you'll end up burning yourself. To replace it, you just squeeze the two metal springs on the side of the plug here and that will just pop off. And then you remove, slide out the retaining clip and the sensor will just pull, pull straight out. Uh, you'll notice that the new sensor has a blue ring around it. This is a genuine part from Volkswagen, cost around $90 Australian. And uh, that was the part that was supplied by Volkswagen, so I don't know if they updated the temperature sensor from the original or if the original I had in there was the incorrect one. I'm not 100% sure. Um, to, once you've put the, sensor, the new sensor in, make sure you also buy a new O-ring for it and replace the O-ring at the same time. Just, just clip your plug back in there. That. And yes, once we replace that temperature sensor, um, everything worked normally, the, pe the temperature gauge began functioning normally as well as cold starts in the morning, not a problem anymore. So uh, yeah, well, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more Mark III videos, bye.